Christina, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm amazing. That's wonderful. You have, have you're having a big year right now. So congratulations. Yeah. You're about to star in one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah. A franchise that has captured millions. How does that feel? <clears throat> um yeah, it feels incredible. I, I um I feel very privileged and honored to be asked to to join <clears throat> the Wizarding Worlds, you know, of what JK Rowling has created. Um is touched people for 20 years and will for another as long as we go I think um, and to be part of that history is, is it feels yeah, it's really something wow now could you talk a little bit about the process of becoming Theseus um well like anything I um, I work with an acting coach so the beginning was uh the key is always to find, one, to understand the film that you're in, uh, two, to um, understand your part in it and why you're in it, and then three, to find the essence of the person and then filter through um, uh, through the performance uh, that, that person through yourself. Um, <clears throat> so I did a lot of... I did a lot of like detective work, so I go mm -hmm. through the script, I really try and understand my position um, and what it would be like to live in that uh, time. Right. Um, uh, what people were like at that time in the world. Obviously, I can't research being a wizard right. <laughs> uh, because wizards don't exist, or do they? Yeah, and just sort of the usual research and just finding out as much as possible. There was a lot of um, a little George Orwell aesthetically in him. Mm -hmm. um, Faye and I, Faye was the, the hair and makeup designer. Um, uh, found that and then Colleen as well. Um, so there's little nods to him. Right. In that. But yeah, normal process and... Uh, um, and then playing it, which is the, always the most enjoyable, um, most enjoyable part. And that is given, you know, that, that was so much fun with Eddie and Zoe. And I don't know, have you seen the movie? I have. Yeah, so like with, with the, those guys and like really like great things I get to do, like, you know, when Eddie's character turns into my character and things like that, you know, um, special moments on set. Now, did you work um, one on one with J.K. Rowling to help develop that character? Um, no, it's 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 pretty much already on the page. Okay. Uh, you know, it's it's there. That's how good she is, um, and how uh, um, subtle the things are that you can play them so many different ways, uh, which we did. And then you know, you hand it over to David, and I think what she does really well in in a finesse sort of way is that she actually takes a step back and lets it's all David you know um, and then comes to set a few times but we all get excited when she comes and you know want to know if we're doing her a service and um, so I think she I think she, she plays it well right now J.K. Rowling has said that your performance as Theseus has changed the way that she saw the character. Now, you as an actor, you, you know, there's always talk about you give yourself to the role. What has the role given to you? Has it changed you in a, any sort of way? Um, yeah, I think uh, I learned so much on this job. I learned so much from Eddie, uh, specifically that moment. Um, you know, I just talked about where he was directing me, and, and and actually I realized how much goes through his body when he's playing anything. I imagine, um, but definitely knew, and uh, and that really was a was a was a big that was a big moment in terms of an understanding, a greater understanding, not something I can put into words, but of the craft, um, little tricks that David Yates gave. Uh, um, and obviously Zoe too and Catherine those guys are amazing um, yeah loads I mean you always learn you learn constantly if you're working with people who are at the top 
which all of these guys are. These they're elite actors, directors, writers. Um, you're going to take on board so much. Right. Now, was you able to go through a lot of rehearsals and a lot of down period with Zoe and Eddie Redmayne? Yeah, before we um, before we got into it, we we had like a sort of you know in the prep stage, uh, refiguring some things out and the backstory, making sure we were aligned. Um, but it was it was more conversational rather than. Um, rather than a, a rehearsal process. Everyone has different ways of doing things. Um, uh, some people like to get it up, and then some people don't at all. Right. Now, there was a lot of special... Some people don't even yeah. like talking about it. Some people just like doing it, you know? Right. I think there's a, there's, a, there's a... There's no wrong or right, and that's the beauty of, of this, of acting. Okay. Now, in the movie, there's a lot of special effects, and you come from a very, like, independent type of smaller background with movies, um, and with also your TV shows. Now, working with these special effects, and I'm pretty sure, like, the, the stage and everything, how did it feel, like, when, you, when you're acting? Was, was it a hindrance to your acting to basically imagine all of these things? Because you're kind of acting with, I'm going to imagine, like, it's a green screen, or like, nothing was really there, just a few small set pieces. Was it? Um, actually, actually, it's, it's the opposite. There's, there's okay. normally um, uh, a puppeteer there, or uh, at least a figurine of the Niffler or of, uh, of uh, Pickett, the bow truck, or in the mix. So it, it's, you know, I actually thought it would be like that too. I was really, I was kind of nervous. I wasn't sure, if that, but you know what? Like the way that David Yates brings it all in. Mm -hmm. And there are these grand sets and, you know, big, magical worlds. But what is at the core of these movies is a human story. And that is testament to David and Joe because and that's why we love them too. We love the action. We love the magic. We love the, 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 the beasts. But we, 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 we really relate to so many of these characters across the series, you know, in Harry Potter too. Um, and that's testament to David, you know, he really, really, it's just about, it's just about the performance, it's just about the relationships between the, the characters. And um, after day one, I realized that it doesn't matter how big the set is, uh, mm -hmm. It's always going to be the same thing when you're on set. There's a great story of Christopher Nolan and Al Pacino story where uh, I think Chris Nolan was, was slightly, you know, on his first day of his after Memento. I can't remember which film they did together now, but anyway, he realized that the car was bigger and the walk to set was longer and there's more people and, you know, the movie was more expensive. And then when he got to set, he was like, oh, okay. Al Pacino looked at him and he was like, don't worry, you're home. And there is that sense of like being, it's always the same. It's always, mm -hmm. that's the job. Right. Which is right in the, the heart of it. So as a fan, how did it feel to actually be in Hogwarts? Uh, yeah. Um, really special. I mean, across the board, the whole thing is really, really special. Um, even using, you know, using a wand, it's super exciting getting used to that. Um, the Hogwarts thing, there's a, there's a there's an actress who plays uh, Professor McGonagall, mm -hmm. and that was the real like Dumbledore and McGonagall as younger versions of themselves. It's pretty cool. Now speaking of the wand, everyone kind of knows that you broke your wand on set. Is what's the yeah. story behind that? Um, <laughs> Do you know what? There was so much. I was. It was on my. It was on my uh, screen test. So it was. Well, I got the job, but it was on. My, you know, working out the colours and stuff like that. And um, it just flew out of its. Uh, of the holder, of the handle of it. It just went flying. Oh wow! Hopefully, no one was hurt. Uh, I think I killed. Only one person, yeah. Okay, that's only one. That's good. That's good. You have to yeah. Keep it low. Yeah. Now, was there any type of choreography going into the the, the wand in your movement? Yeah, very much so. There's a, a lady called Alex Reynolds who has worked on theory and theory of everything, and uh, 
a Danish girl with Eddie, and she was on this too, and she um, she walked me through one score. Oh, cool. Now, the actions in Crimes of Grindelwald is going to affect your character thesis uh, very heavily. How do you see your character in the upcoming films? How do I what, sorry? How do you see your character in the upcoming films? Because you, you're very much impacted in this one, what happens at the end. Do you mean in the next one? Yes, in the next one. Oh, I have no idea. I'm, I'm really excited to find out. I honestly have, I don't have an inkling. It could go so many different ways, you know. Is there a way that you would like to see? Um, no, I, I just want to, because it's, it's not about me, you know. This is, right. as, a, as an actor, it's, a, it's about the bigger picture, which is the film, and which is, you know, we're all there to serve the story, you know. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm excited to see where the story goes, first and foremost. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. No problem. Thanks for talking to me. And it was such a great movie. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yes.